Welcome to the director's notes for Apart From Me. I've, I've edited the film on HBXW8400 workstation running on Avid Media Composer 6.5. Avid Media Composer is an editing software used in the industry. Both short and feature length films have been edited on an Avid system. Linear processes were still being used to edit video when it was shot on tapes. Linear editing is no longer as common, common as it is today as it used to be. Digital non-linear systems such as Avid Media Composer are used in place of them. A great benefit to non-linear editing is that it's not easy to lose files that are part of your project, as opposed to linear editing where the editor has to dub or record different clips onto a master tape. This makes editing effectively, effectively easier on non-linear systems as you can cut and splice into any piece of footage where and when you want to. If you, do not, if you do want to insert or remove scenes from the master tape, you have to recopy all the prior footage, which will take excessively longer, especially if, you, especially if you're fairly new to editing. Although linear editing can be fairly complicated, it still has, has its advantages. Firstly, it's inexpensive, which is helpful if you're on a smaller budget. You also not receive any complications you would on a software, such as red, regular crashes or errors. Non-linear editing allows you to have access to any segment of your project, which, make, which makes things a little easier as it is less time consuming, especially if you're, as your original files are not being at risk of being modified or lost. This is where the editor uses the edit decision list. An EDL is a list of shots that keep the editor's footage in order in a particular order. See the time codes and enables them to know what and when to keep footage in and out. Uh, some of the differences between linear and non-linear editing can include um, before editing begins, the footage is stored onto the computer's hard drive. The footage can be organised in a much more easier and clearer way on the software using a simple drag and drop way. This is an easier way of moving segments in and out of places. With non-linear non uh, non digital editing packages, you can place transitions and titles in between segments. Before splicing in any footage that you've edited, you have the chance to review it before making any significant changes to the rest of your edited project. In non-linear editing, you can make changes to any segment without it affecting the rest of your prod edited product. Another advantage to non-linear editing could be that you're able to access and edit any shot and scene you like and make changes to it as much as you want without it affecting the rest of your footage. In addition to this, you can choose which picture quality you would like to edit in, whether it is standard or high definition. However, the major drawback to non-linear editing is the cost of it. If you're on a smaller budget, you may be restricted on purchasing an editing system unless you choose to hire an editing suite. Formats and resolution. You can choose to film your footage in either high or standard definition. The lowest quality you can choose to record in starts from 144p to 480p, whereas high definition would be 720p and 1080p. The higher numbers uh, represent the line resolution and it indicates the amount of pixels that will be displayed. This will provide you with a more crisp and clean image. The Avid Media Composer has op options to show moving images in 720p. Importing clips. When I imported these clips into Avid, I brought them into a pod project bin. I kept this bin to store all my footage. We should bear in mind that you can create different bins for audio material and titles to keep every part of the project well organised th throughout the editing process of your product project. This is also an effective way of keeping track of what can content you have along the way. Seamless. I think I have managed to edit the footage as seamlessly as possible, making each shot look as if it was continuing on from the next. An example of seamless editing could be when I edited the shot where the girl was laying down on the bed playing with the blinds together with the shot where she stands up and pulls up the blinds and then looks out the bedroom window. Another example of seamless editing um, was when I edited together the shot where the girl walks into the kitchen to see her dad and then begins to run back into the hallway with the shot where you actually see her running into the bedroom and actually slamming the short door shut. In order to be able to edit seamlessly you must make sure that you match action across the cut. The end of the first shot and the beginning of the new shot, for example, positioning the girl of the hallway in the hallway in both shots. Continuity. The same can apply to continuity as it is fairly sim similar to seamless editing. This is so that the events in the film flows naturally for the audience. An example of continuous editing would, could be when I edited the girl's little brother walking towards her and then the girl putting both of their coats on. It's important that there, is, there are no continuity mistakes in this film. This can include a scarf being 
on someone in one shot and then being off in the next. Motivated. Motivated ed editing refers to where the events in the previous shot motivates the next one. An example of me using this could be when I included the shot of the girl running into the bedroom and slamming the door shut along with, the, along with adding the next shot of the camera panning the room with the dad having a conversation with her on the bed. This is an example of, um, of motivated editing as the audience will be waiting to see what happens next in the next shot. This carries on through as you watch the dad walk out of the room and then it cuts to the part where the girl leans forward and begins to cry. This then carries on as you watch and follow her walk follow her walk through the hallway and call for her younger brother. Data transfer. Hard drives will provide you with a quicker way of accessing material on the disk. Drives are sometimes grouped together to increase performance. You will need a 7 7200 RPM drive with a suitable disk storage. Computer storage capacity is generally measured in gigabytes and megabytes. Bear in mind that one gigabyte is a total of 1000 megabytes. Transitions. I used two transitions in my short film which were included in a zip, uh, uh, which included a dissolve in between um, the shot where the girl ran into her bedroom and shut the door with the next shot being a panning shot around the room of her and her dad talking on the bed. The next transition I used was a fake fade to black transition at the end of the film after you see the light in between the trees.